Welcome to our math class. Before anything else, let me know your top knowledge about our new topic by answering the free test. Number 1. Which subset of a line that extends definitely in one direction? A. Angle B. Line segment C. Ray D. Congruent lines Number 2. Which of the following rays is the opposite of ray ST in the figure below? A. Ray QR B. Ray RT C. Ray QT D. Ray SR Number 3. Which of the following figures represent segment? Number 4. What subset of a line represents the given figure? A. Segment B. Line C. Ray D. Angle And number 5. Which of the following is a subset of a line with distinct endpoints? A. Segment B. Line C. Ray V. Angle Let's check the answers. Number 1. C. Number 2. D. Number 3. D. Number 4. C. And number 5. A. Then let's have a recap of what has been discussed yesterday. Determine whether each of the following represents a point, a line, or a plane. Number 1. The tip of a pen. Number 2. A strand of a hair. Number 3. Thread. Number 4. A particle of salt. And number 5, the screen of a laptop. And what are the answers? Number 1, point. Number 2, line. Number 3, line. Number 4, point. Number 5, plane. And now, for today's lesson, let us discuss subsets of a line. And what do you expect to learn from this lesson? To define and identify segments and rays. Line is an important concept in mathematics. In geometry, a line is a perfectly straight one-dimensional figure extending infinitely in both directions. There are two subsets of a line in geometry, segment and ray. And what are the difference between segment and ray? A line segment is a subset of a line that has two endpoints. It is written as line segment AB. A segment is commonly used to represent the length, height, or width of a certain object and the distance between two objects. Example, edge of a table. How about a ray? Ray is a subset of a line that begins with an endpoint 
and extends endlessly in one direction. This can be read as ray AB, which is denoted by What are opposite rays? These are two collinear rays with the same endpoint. Examples Ray ML and Ray ML. These are described as opposite rays if and only if they are subsets of the same line and have a common endpoint. Let us now illustrate a real-world example of a ray. One of the most common examples of a ray is a sun's ray of light in space. The ray of light continues indefinitely. To sum up the lesson, keep in mind the following key points. Subsets of a line are segment and ray. A line segment is a subset of a line that has two endpoints. While ray is a subset of a line that begins without endpoint and extends endlessly in one direction. Before we proceed to the assessment, what do you think is the importance of subsets of a line in your daily life? How would you apply it? An inspirational writer, Israel Wall Ivor, said, The way to success is not a straight line segment. It's a dotted line with a little box of failure Fill in the paddles of blockages in between. What does it mean? To check your understanding of the topic, please answer the following. Activity number one. Determine whether each of the following represents a segment or array. Number one. The light beam from a LCD projector. Number two. A piece of crayon. Number three, a basketball pot. Number four, the direction of a travel arrows. And number five, a piece of chalk. Activity number two, keep practicing. Draw the following. Number one, Ray BC. Number two, Line segment DE. Number three, line segment LM. Number four, ray ST. And number five, rays IH and IJ are opposite rays. Activity number three, test yourself. Use the figure below to enumerate the following. From letter A, Name at least two rays shown in the figure. Letter B. Name all the line segments shown in the figure. Key to correction. Activity number one. Activity number two. And activity number three. Let's have a post this. Number one. What do you call a subset of a line that has two endpoints? A. Segment. B. Ray. C. Plane. D. Angle. Number two. How many number of rays can you form in the figure below? A. 3 B. 4 C. 5 D. 6 Number 3 How many number of segments can you illustrate in the figure below? A. 3 B. 4 C. 
five D six number four is line segment AB equal to line segment BA in the figure below a always true B sometimes true C never D unidentified and number five how many endpoint does array have? A. 4 B. 3 C. 2 D. 1 Let's check the answers! Number 1 A Number 2 D Number 3, A. Number 4, A. And number 5, D. Thank you. Have a good day.